think people should be aware there should be signs that the trash should not be on the beach and there should be more bins because all the bins are always full yeah. and when it's windy you see that the trash just blows everywhere so the government uh, yeah should really do a program to educate also the people around yeah uh, maybe they can collect the trash together and make an incentive for people to you know collect the plastic from the beach yeah Not only do the people of this community work hard to dispatch and rid their environment of these pollutants and this garbage that has been left there by uh, passerbys, by tourists and the like, they integrate it into foundational structures of their architecture, which is what I found most interesting. It brings this whole new meaning to the kind of reduce, reuse, recycle idea. And to see that it is not only being done by the adults in the community, but by the children as well, um, brings promise and hope that they will have a cleaner, more sustainable environment in the future. It really goes straight into the topic, straight into the world of this Indonesian coast. Um, I like that. The style is not at all preachy, just very observation and matter of fact, which is the essence of what a documentary should be. Um, yeah, um, seeing what people have to do manually uh, to remove waste uh, is really powerful uh, in with this language and uh, I also like that it's not people who work for certain environmental organizations, it's just real people who care. It looked kind of rough because the visuals conveyed enough without any editing because of the content they had. Like, for example, seeing piles of, rush, uh, of rubbish um, in these kind of un seemingly untouched uh, wild lands. It's much more powerful than seeing them in like Metropolis where you're kind of used to it. So yeah. I thought it was really interesting to see how different cultures and different places around the world are kind of trying to approach and deal with pollution and how it ties into their environment and their community. Um, I really liked how kind of industrious they were being with how many different uses they had found and how many different ways they could reuse and repurpose. Um, I thought it was really, really, really creative and it had the extra added benefits of also supplying a little bit of extra income and also, you know, going towards material that would help the communities, that would help, you know, housing foundations and that would help all of these different things that you could repurpose and reuse these, these you know, discarded things for. And I thought it was like I said, are really, really creative and it helps kind of get the conversation going of, well, what can we do? We can see, you know, what these people are doing. Can we do anything like that where we live? What what are things that we can do to kind of approach this problem? And I think that this film did a really great job of showing how many different uses there are and how many different ways that you can be creative and approach the problem even if you don't have you know a huge infrastructure on on how to deal with it this was an eye-opening doc short from indonesia i was impressed by the people in the film who have taken the plastic waste on the beach and use it to make other items to sell true recyclers it was lovely to hear and see from people who are committed to the project. Excellent footage of these collectors doing the work. I enjoyed the soundtrack, which was quite varied, from synth to bells to drums to violin. The footage of the piles of garbage was quite shocking, but I'm very happy to hear that progress is being made. This kind of film will help make people more aware of how important it is to collect plastic waste and to use it less for the health of the environment.